In this Fireworks CS3 lesson, I'll be demonstrating how you can use the filter effects to make things look really 3D. And uh, what I'll do is just draw out a rectangle, get the roundness up on it, and then I'm going to punch a couple of shapes in it. The rectangle tool. Maybe this can serve as my little view screen. I'm going to make like a little handheld thing. Handheld looking thing. Um, then I'm going to grab a couple of lip ellipses. Place them in there. It's at 50. 50. That's about even. For demonstration purposes, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to change the colors on these so you can see them better. Okay, now what we're going to do is punch. We'll use these to punch holes into that shape. Go to Modify, Combine. Actually, I think you can go to Join. And it punches them all out. And then, uh, or it punches them all into that bottom shape to where it makes nice holes in it and then you go to filters um, bevel and emboss inner bevel and you can see it gives you kinda like a pixelated bevel uh, so what we'll do is we'll adjust the inner bevel settings now to make it just right so let me drag this down so you can see I'm gonna double click inner bevel here and I'm going to take this all the way up and I'm going to take this all the way up and I'm going to take this all the way up and I'm going to make this smooth and the angle looks good and raised is what we want okay so now you can see how it's starting to look 3D a little already and uh, so what you can do now to make it look, look a little more 3D is hit another filter of uh, inner glow and you can see how it takes on a more of a, a 3D metallic look the inner glow is a little dark Let's make it a little more opaque and make it spread a little further and there you have it. it almost looks like steel on there now let's see yep and that's how you can make things look nice and 3D and and beveled out uh, like the old fireworks used to have uh, a, a nicer uh, bevel effect, an easier bevel filter to use. With this one you have to kind of tweak it out to get it just the way you want it to render the same way that old bevel effect did in the old fireworks. Um, but that's a way you can do that and you can also give it a drop shadow to make it look a little more 3D. And you can do that to any shapes and uh, it'll make it look like lights hitting it from one direction and it's shaded in another. And that's about it for that one. We'll see you next lesson.